Welcome in San Francisco. Uh, we are on the one really interesting venue. Uh, I got this badge. Uh, it's from Oculus because today we announced that VTuber is coming to Quest. So basically behind me everything is preparing. It's pretty early morning and uh, today will be a very interesting day because we will be showcasing Beat Saber to the press for the very first time. We created a brand new build for this. Uh, we optimized the game, especially Split and Lokiman and Peter from our team. They did absolutely amazing job. And this is Misha. And this is Dad from Oculus. <laughs> Hi! No. It's face track, so you have to move where oh, my face is. So, right now we are on GDC, uh, and there is... I know this game. So, we are done for today. Uh, it was seems to be pretty huge success. Uh, a lot of people liked it. The tracking was amazing. Uh, we also announced that uh, Beat Saber will be a launch title for Quest. So, pretty amazing news. So, this was the Quest event. Uh, I'm super excited about this one. To be completely honest, I think that Beat Saber on Quest will be one of the most awesome experiences, how you can feel the Beat Saber in the best way. Let's talk about one more thing, and this is community. I already started just speaking about it in the last video and this time I sit down with Vladimir and Vlado is here. So Vlado is our co-founder and the programmer behind Beat Saber and it will be great to tell you a little bit more about the mods and especially why uh, every update is breaking the mods. So go ahead. Hi guys. So let's talk serious. Maybe you noticed with every single update, we change our game, we improve our game, and unofficial third-party mode stop working. Then we get so much like negativity, which we see in your reviews, that the game is breaking mods. It's uh, I would like to say why is that happening. So we never release the game with the official support of the mods you see maybe in other games, which uh, developer studio put hours and hours of manpower to create a way where you can create additional things into the game and to integrate them natively. Current mods are working in a sort of hackish way when they open the game, inject their things inside and uh, they do stuff, right? But in our case, when we release the game in an update, we change many things, we fix many things, we put new things there and mods start working. But it doesn't mean that we like intentionally, <laughs> intentionally <laughs> break the mods. Please, please, please talk to your favorite creators and tell them to update things. If you think it's important to you, you have your voice. You are many, so please forward your uh, wishes to them. And uh, we try to keep the game fresh. We try to keep uh, our updates full of new things, full of fixes because uh, we think the game is not ready. We, we, this is actually the reason why it's still in early access. It's still not finished game. When the game will be finished, probably we'll stop the, uh, <laughs> we'll stop the regularity of the frequent, frequent updates, whatever it means. And then maybe the code base will be stable. Right now, we still think there are many ways how we can improve it, put new features, primarily fixes into the game. And uh, with that, new updates will come and the old mods will not be completed. Maybe the most important thing is that very, very talented and patient people who create all those mods usually don't test properly. Like, and this is really unfortunate. So from time to time, we tend to get feedback in a term of uh, uh, reviews that the game is crashing or something like that. I would say you honestly, really honestly, 99.9% .9 of those crashes are related to incompatibility or some bug in for party mods and it's really unfortunate because you always like forward your 
your anger to us developers who can't really help you with that. All, uh, like everything we can do is maybe like artificially disable the mods just for the case that it won't crash the base game and won't anger. So I hope you a little bit understand more uh, why this is happening and that it's not our that we are not doing it uh, on purpose to crash the modes, but it's more complicated than that. And uh, also, the music, especially what is in those modes involved, is not li it's not licensed. And if there will be chance to implement Spotify or YouTube, we would love to do it, but it's not possible because Spotify or YouTube they don't own the music. Music is owned by labels or artists, so. This is the reason why we also bring the music back in early access because Beat Saber needs the content, in of, like official content with our beat maps, which is everything tested and hopefully crafted in the best way we can. So therefore we bring it in early access because we feel it's super important. So yeah. Are you agree? I, I agree totally. <laughs> okay, so that was Vlado. Uh, and see you soon. We are actually on GDC right now. We are sitting here and we just wanted to tell you this. See you.